Previously on Pan Am. There's a dealer in London who's gotten hold of a list of CIA assets. Who's on that list? Bridget Pierce. I fall in love with you, and I will do whatever it takes. Dean, I need to move on. I beg you to see the Trevi Fountain with me. You don't know a thing about this guy. You're a prince? You're a smuggler? I need a partner, Maggie. Someone to share in the rewards. I am more comfortable with women. I want to be married to you. How? It'll be perfect. You can see whoever you want. I can see who I want. You can even have Laura. Omar seems very down to earth. You know, for a future king. Want to swipe by now the entire first class from Solomon to Zaltarash? That wasn't his idea. It was his parents. I dated a prince once. You did? Johnny Esposito. His father was the muffler king of Clatsop County. Every time we pulled into a filling station, we were royalty. It's not exactly the stuff of fairy tales. I'm done with fairy tales. Who needs them? I do. Well, look who's being. I feel like I'm floating on air. We all are. We're at 30,000 feet. OK. Um, where did I leave off? It seems strange, doesn't it? Not calling it out a wild anymore? Your fortress is supposed to be named after places, not people. Yeah, but it's Jack Kennedy. What did Jackie say? There will be other presidents, but there will never be another time quite like that. For one brief, shining moment, known as Camelot. Excuse me while I go jump out of this plane. And yet they had a very unconventional marriage. How do you mean? He was known to entertain a stewardess or two, and they still made it work. But you're not thinking about messing around already. You're not even married yet. Amanda sort of gave me permission. Seriously? She's a very modern girl. It could be a test. Definitely feel tested. Well, that's your captain. And your friend. I would just tell you to think about it before you do anything stupid. I didn't. Now the woman I want to be with is back there in first class getting fitted for a glass slipper. All I've been doing is thinking. I thought you said she was perfect. She is. She is. Well, almost. I mean, nobody's perfect, right? Yeah. For me, Colette comes close. Uh, I guess if you really love someone, that makes them perfect, even if they don't necessarily feel the same way about you. Coffee, gentlemen? Yes, please. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. The lounge is reserved for first class passengers only. Shut the curtain. I need you to walk something through customs. What is it this time? Antique jewelry, Berber pendants, more art than sparkle, but collectors pay top dollar. Smuggling jewelry into the United States is a little more serious than sneaking cigarettes into North Africa. Yeah, so it's the money. Money you're gonna need for your future plans. My future died last month in Dallas. Well, I guess I'm your future now. How depressing. <laughs> but lucrative. Welcome home to John F. Kennedy International. So, New Year's Eve at my place. We'll help cook. Well, you can see Times Square from Ted's apartment. We could oh. watch the ball drop without being trampled. I don't cook. I don't help cook. We'll do everything, <laughs> and everyone can get to know Amanda better. And Omar. I can't remember being this excited about New Year. 1963 <laughs> was pretty eventful. 1964 will be even better. Mm. We'll make it better. What now? One trip offering you the moon route? What is it? it says I've been grounded. For what? Pilot's license has been suspended pending the outcome of a hearing. Well, that Haiti business was months ago. Why now? It doesn't say. I think I got a pretty good idea. Alone. 
I always flirt with the customs agents. You wouldn't want me to change my routine now, would you? You know, you're going to be a real pro with this. Oh, save the sweet talk. What's next? Huh? So, I'm meeting the buyers tomorrow night. I'll make the deal. You'll get your cut after that. Uh-uh. Not so fast. I'm coming with you. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. These guys aren't going to want to make a deal with a woman in the room. Well, it's almost 1964. They better get used to women with opinions. Maggie, let me handle this. You can't even handle me. Let me make this perfectly clear. Where the jewels go, I go. So I got no choice. You never did. Pop. Edward, I called your apartment, but you didn't answer. I was out walking. Important lunch popped up. We gotta do ours next week. Oh, bring Amanda along. Okay. Did she tell you? The governor has agreed to preside over your wedding. Amanda's father's one of his poker buddies. <laughs> your mother says this is shaping up to be the social event of the year. And guess who else is coming? Juan Tripp. Those captain wings are in the bag. I'd like to earn them on my own. Oh, no, nonsense. All this is damn exciting, if you ask me. What about asking me? Well, isn't it? Everything's moving kind of fast. Maybe we should slow it down. I'm afraid the women on both sides of the aisle won't stand for that. Hell, the Normandy invasion had less planning. <laughs> I mean, no, everything's okay, right? Look, I, I, I don't want to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Some of the best marriages are not about love. They're great partnerships. Okay? So whatever you're going through, you know, you'll, you'll get through it. Okay. a boy. Okay, I'm late, so I'll talk to you next week. Richard? What's wrong? I've been shot. No, hospitals are the first place they'd look. They? You don't know who did this? It was dark. I was on my way back to CIA headquarters to deliver this microfilm. Okay, we should call somebody. Don't you understand? There was somebody on the inside. Nobody else knew about the drop. Double agent. Listen to me, Kate. This has to be delivered to the CIA by noon tomorrow. You're gonna have to take it in for me. Okay. Nobody knows I'm missing. And if anybody from the agency contacts you, if they ask about me, that person is the double agent. Understand? This can't all be for us. No, for me. So I can learn all your favorite foods. I could have just told you. <laughs> What's the fun in that? I hope you don't mind. I flew in the chef from uh, that restaurant you like in Paris. Le Dôme? Mm -hmm. Omar, that's too much. We could take the subway to Brooklyn for brick oven pizza. Uh, no, no. This is wonderful. Please. Colette. May I have your permission to court you? Isn't this what you've been doing? For me, yes. But for my parents and the royal family rules, no. There are rules? I'm afraid so. A formal courtship is a minimum of six months. You'll have your own wing in the palace your own staff, an unlimited clothing allowance. You want me to move to Wuhan? So my family can get to know you as a real person and not the fantasy I've made you out to be. Our personal physician will make sure you are not made from fairy dust and others will be uh, dispatched to investigate what magical land you are from. And what about my job with Pan Am? 
You could take a leave of absence. But only if you wanted to, of course. Please tell me you'll at least think about it. I'll think about it. Another camera? Can't let the communists win. No, I can't. It's... it's too expensive. It's on Pan Am. I, I told them what happened in Moscow and they sprang for a new one. That is very sweet. Thank you. I want to show you something. Okay. Oh. That was after I told you that the Yeah, right. I remember. <laughs> I look like I'm sitting on the hot seat and the warden just pulled the switch. When did you realize Greg wasn't the one? I mean, you almost married the guy, right? I think I always knew. My parents loved him. Everyone said we were perfect together. Honestly, I... I couldn't think of a reason to say no. Except you wanted more. Not wanted. Needed. <laughs> this one was Andy Warhol's favorite. Uh, you showed me to Andy Warhol? Mm-hmm. He said that you looked like you were being hunted by the FBI. Oh, what does he know? The guy paints <laughs> suit cans. I think he's a genius. Plus, he said that you were a fascinating subject and that I had a very good eye for choosing. Yeah. Maybe he's a genius after all. <laughs> and this one oh. is my favorite. <laughs> I look like a goofball. I like the man in that picture. Amanda's probably waiting. Yeah, probably right. You must be lost, monsieur. I know. I started walking. I guess my inner guidance system brought me here. So how's, uh, how's Prince Charming treating you? He wants me to move to Wuhan to begin a formal courtship. <laughs> I think it's a little, uh, a little fast. The purpose of a courtship is time. Everything is moving so quickly, it will be nice to slow it down. You're in love with him? Love is not something I care to discuss with you. I just, I don't want you to get swept up in some fantasy. Well, I'm beginning to believe that love is a fantasy. One day there, and the next, gone. Colette. Good luck with the hearing, Dean. The microfilm should be safe inside the lining, even if someone searches you. Walk straight into CIA headquarters. Alan O'Neill's on the 14th floor, last office on the left. Don't stop, don't say anything except the password. Albatross. I'll know what to do. Oh. Case. Sorry, I frightened you. Anderson, what are you doing in New York? A little trouble with Richard, I'm afraid. You haven't heard from him, have you? Has Richard been in contact with you? No. Not since Rome. Why? He's disappeared. No one at MI6 or the CIA has heard from him. He has in his possession a very valuable microphone. If 
it were to fall into the wrong hands, it would be devastating to both our countries. But do you think he's all right? Well, our fear is that he's gone rogue and he's arranging a sale for the Russians. If you hear from him, call me immediately. Where? I'm staying at the Plaza Hotel. Either there or CIA headquarters. Richard? I couldn't make it to the CIA. I got stopped by someone. Just like you said. Do you know how many people he's married? None. We're the first. Amanda, just, um, <laughs> let me talk. This isn't easy to say, I... Then don't say it. Come upstairs. I missed you. Uh, no. No. I don't understand. I can't share my wife. I still want an old-fashioned marriage. Fine. Then I will be your devoted, faithful wife. But every morning you wake up wishing I was someone else. Isn't it the other way around? This is about Laura, isn't it? What? No. Man, I'm sorry, well, I... Daddy, don't do this. I can't marry you. Why are you taking your Pan Am back? Well, gets me the best table in town. Oh, Amanda. Maggie. Uh, darn, I was just on my way out. Uh, We'll have to catch up later? Actually, I wanted to talk to Laura. Oh! Amanda, hi. This is a nice surprise. I made an investment in a friendship. I hope it's about to pay off in the form of a favor. Oh, yeah, of course. Anything. I'd like you to be Ted's mistress. <laughs> That's... The funniest thing I've ever heard. You... I'm serious. You can't be. That's... That's... I... I don't want to be anyone's mistress. I've noticed the way you two look at each other. There's definitely an attraction. No, no. Ted is in love with you. We're about to get married. He's running away from our wedding. I think the main reason is you. So, if it will get Ted to marry me, I'm willing to share him. If Ted's getting cold feet, this is not the way to get him back. No, it'll be perfect. Well, I'm home, enjoying the things that you ran away from. You and Teddy can be off circling the globe together. Those things I ran away from, I still want. Just at the right time, with the right guy. Well, it won't be with Teddy. Fine. My parents' names were Oscar and Rachel Valois. They were in the French resistance. Killed while fighting the Nazis. And you were raised in an orphanage? By your same nuns, in Le Chambord. And you remained in Le Chambord until you were 23? Yes. Too long. Because the one thing I remembered was my mother saying, 
If you are lost, stay where you are. We will find you. So I stayed. Hoping one day I would cross the street and see my mother buying bread. Or pass a cafe where my father was reading the paper. Even though I was told they were dead and I no longer remembered what they looked like. I think that's enough questions for today. Bar around the corner. Maybe your girlfriend would be more comfortable waiting there. I'm fine. Right here. She gets emotional. You know how women are. Once you get the claws in, you're hooked for life. Nicholas Stone. Fique tranquilo. Eles estão aqui. Ok, vamos agir calmamente. Eles não vão suspeitar de nada. Deals off. What the hell are you doing? Wait, we want to make an offer. Let's go. Now. Uh, I, I'm sorry. She's crazy. I'll be right back. What the hell are you doing? It's a ripoff. How the hell do you know that? They were speaking in Portuguese about stealing the jewels. It's ridiculous. Nice people you deal with. I've never dealt with them before. It's set up for a friend. Oh, now you tell me. Look, I didn't want you to be nervous. You could have gotten us killed. It won't happen again, all right? Just give me the bag. I'll come up with another plan. You do that. But the jewels stay with me. Safety tip. Don't leave a key lying around with a tag that says spare key. Where did you go? Let me sit first. The room is spinning. I followed you to make sure you were safe. I needed to be sure Anderson didn't double back. Where's the microfilm, Richard? Right here. Sorry. I had to be sure. So you were testing me? Well, that bottle in your hand says you don't completely trust me either. So you knew about Anderson? Suspected. Ever since the two of you had that little escapade in London. He was after the list for himself. Soviets put a premium on it. Anderson decided to cash in. Anderson told me that you're the double agent. Classic spycraft. Accuse your accuser. I came here because I wanted to trust you, Kate. Now you have to decide who you trust. What am I supposed to do with this? Do with what? Amanda and her ridiculous offer? Marry her and get me in the bargain? I'm sorry, she's just used to getting her way all the time, but did you really think that I'd ever accept that? Or, or think for a second that you would? Why did you call off the wedding? To tell the truth, Amanda is great. On paper. And, and I've always wanted someone like her, o only not her. Why not? Well, well, to be perfectly honest, there's someone else. There is? Yeah. Yeah. Someone I've uh, come to know quite well. And I think I've fallen in love with her. And when, when did this happen? I don't really know. She just sort of grew on me. TV antenna out a window in Jakarta, watching Jack Kennedy speak in Berlin. It's always been you, Laura. Ever since that first flight in London. Ted. I know. Do you? Don't I?
During a medical emergency, I am required to land at the nearest airport. In a country hostile to Americans? I, this was a life or death situation. Not for long, the passenger died. But yet, despite the heroic efforts of my crew to find a doctor. You were informed the airport was closed. Did they give you a reason? I landed without incident, and I got my passengers and my aircraft home safely. We have an affidavit from a Pan Am passenger, Miguel Ortiz. He claims you threatened him, and that your decision to take the refugee was based on a personal relationship with one of your crew, Colette Valois. In the end, I made the decision that I felt was right. Sorry I didn't call first. I was trying to avoid another setup. What are you doing here? Where is Captain Broyles? Oh, he gets so emotional. You know how men are. Women are much more practical, don't you think? I'm willing to forgive and forget. What are you proposing? Well, you still want to buy the jewels, don't you? Very much. Vamos a hacer negocios. Maybe what I couldn't do with plenty of money and you. How? Surprise is a great negotiator. Isn't it beautiful? Even more so with you on top of it. That painting is beautiful. The background investigation has revealed something. Am I an escaped murderer? Your name is not the same as your parents. How could that be? Your investigators made a mistake. No mistake. The nuns changed your name to protect you and themselves. But why? Because they would have been killed for sheltering a child with the name Halevi. It is a Jewish name. My parents were Jewish? Yes. They weren't part of the resistance? Maybe, I don't know, but that is not how they died. How? Does it matter? How did they die? Dachau. I stayed awake all night, wondering how I would tell you. All my life, I've only known lies. Even my own name. This doesn't change who you are now. No. But it changes us, doesn't it? Here. Look at this. Is this... Your family. It was taken by the friends who gave you to the orphanage. But there's a baby. A boy. He was adopted from the orphanage a few days after you both arrived. We tried to locate him. Couldn't. I had a brother. You still have a brother. As far as we know, he survived. One of the conditions to settle the lawsuit with Mr. Belson's family is that you be terminated. Although you were acting under extreme circumstances, Permission to speak? Of course, Captain Broyles. On the subject of Haiti, Captain Lowry left that body behind to ensure the safety of his passengers by the book. Not Pan Am's book. Then I suggested it, didn't I? But he took on a stowaway. Once she was on board, she was his passenger, too. It was his duty to protect her. And I talked to his navigator. That takeoff out of Port-au-Prince was a thing of beauty. Instead of standing here being judged, Captain Lowry ought to be showing other Pan Am pilots how it's done. At a party in Rome, didn't Captain Lowry assault you? 
Justified. I would have hit me too. And harder. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Captain Broyles, for your testimony. If that's all... It's not. Addressed to you from Juan Tripp. You may want to read that now. That's from Maggie. And I want a rematch. Your own. Well, you're very fortunate, Captain Lowry. It seems that Mr. Tripp has made an investment in your future. In taking this and Captain Broyle's testimony into consideration, you will not be terminated at this time. Thank you. However, your flying privileges will be suspended for six months. There'll be a plane waiting for you in June. Consider yourself very lucky, Captain. Thank you, gentlemen. Is everything okay? You pulled me out of a meeting. Amanda wasn't the right woman, so it's over. What are you talking about? She's perfect for you. No, she's perfect for, for that plan you have for me, but I don't need that plan. I've got Laura. Who's, who's Laura? The woman I love. And it turns out she loves your huge disappointment of a son, too. You never said you were a disappointment. You didn't have to. Just wait. Think about it. I'll come by the house. Let's talk. Tell Mom I'm sorry. Happy New Year, Bob. Edward, we're not done here. Edward? Hey, talk to Richard. Where is he? My apartment. He's sleeping on my couch. He trusts me. Good. All right, stay here. I've got to get to him before he contacts the Soviets. Anderson, it doesn't matter if he does. I have the microfilm. I lifted it from his pocket. Good girl. I knew I could count on you. Give it to me, I'll keep it safe. Just one thing. The mission in London? Why me? And not a female in my six agent? We can talk about that later. Just give me the microfilm. They're trend agents. I'm a stewardess. Don't undervalue your abilities. The worldwide intelligence agency is looking for that microphone, and you were the one to retrieve it. Now, I must insist that you give it to me. Let's take it to CIA headquarters. Together. Okay, this is not a game. Are you sure? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna shoot me in front of all these people? It's easily explained. The Soviets turned you when you were in Moscow. You shot Richard. You stole the microphone. I caught you. Unfortunately, you resisted. All right. Let's go. A little unfinished business. agent for MI6! I'm arresting that woman for espionage! She's a spy! I hate to break it to you. We're all spies. This is how I always want to remember you, Anderson. summer home I used to push you off the dock just to see you cry better swimmer now I'm the one being thrown in the deep end Amanda we talked about this 
There's been a slight detour. I've just come from the doctor. I'm pregnant, Daddy. Don't just stand there. You're gonna be a father. Hug me. <laughs> we'll get married right away. You'll see. This is the best thing that could have happened. I do. I couldn't leave you here all alone. Well, for people in our business, alone is our natural state. You have come a long way from the stewardess who didn't think she could switch a passport. It was a lifetime ago. My biggest problem was my sister on the cover of a magazine. My parents were the enemy. And this country was Camelot. The world has changed. It's getting more dangerous every day. That's why we need people like you. You have me. Right now, like most women who work for us, you're just an asset. But that is about to change. We want you to become a real agent, Kate. You'll have to go through training at Langley. A new class starts next month. What about Pan Am? Life is all about making choices. Happy New Year, Richard. As we speak, little Teddy Jr. is growing inside of her. Uh, a guy's got to do the right thing, right? Yeah, absolutely. Ah, mm. oh, man. What am I gonna do in that right seat for six months without you in the left? What's your gut telling you? I've had too many of those. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Good. Have another. Oh, boy. Uh, what does the gut know, anyway? Keeps changing its mind. Until Colette. Yeah, until Colette. You're gonna get her back. No. She's gonna be a princess. No! <clears throat> no, 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 no. Royal courtship is kaput. What? It's over. When? Last night, Laura told me. Runway's clear, my friend. Yeah, but to see she still have to forgive me. That's highly doubtful. At least you have a chance. Huh? I'm gonna be a father and lose Laura forever. Oh, hell. It's New Year's Eve. Tomorrow's a new year. Yeah. He's 21. He might be in college, he might be married. That might be an end. <laughs> <laughs> you lose a prince, you gain a brother. Without knowing it, I think all my life I've been looking for him. All I seem to find were the man I shouldn't have. Oh, those kind are easier to find. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes the right one's right there under your nose and you just don't know it until he's gone. Oh, you wish they were. Mm -hmm. Where's Ted and Dean? The ball's gonna drop in a minute. Oh, who needs more champagne? Mm -hmm. Me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie. Did you pill for all those bottles from Pan Am? No, this is legitimate cargo. Really? I recently came into a little money. Thank you. A, a toast. Oh, yeah. To Pan Am for bringing us all together. Pan Am. <laughs> hey, oh, they're here. Hey, you voila. Mm. When did that happen? Um. Isn't he engaged to somebody else? <laughs> to Amanda. Great. She kissed me. What? what? On the mouth. Wasn't half bad. Oh. Congratulations. 
I hear you're still a pen and pilot. Yeah, with a six month suspension. Still better than being fired. Mm. Sorry about you and the prince. Don't be. I'm not. <laughs> That's my family. That's me standing in front of my father. <laughs> who's the, who's the boy? That's my brother. Tomorrow I start looking for him. Let me help you. Dean. Oh, come on. Hey, it just so happens that I have six months off of work. Come on, please. I missed you. Um, listen, uh, Laura, I have to tell you something. Hey, everybody, the countdown's about to begin. Oh, tell me next year. Let's All watch right. the ball drop. Okay. By 1963. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. I loved every minute of it. I love us. And this. I love this. The ball never lands. <laughs>